Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, we're going over the new updated Yuletide Mornings pack along with a cool announcement for the 12 Days of the Spiral towards the end of this video. Just kind of going over it, going over the new changes. I made that pack video like a few days ago saying which packs are worth it, and I feel like I would be remiss to not actually go over the updates. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you don't know, the Yuletide Mornings pack was what I considered to be one of the worst of the Yuletide packs in the game. It had really crappy gear sets, uh, not a lot of reason to use it. The only reason is that it had some cool looking stitch gear, but there was that, there was the mounts, and that is about it. There wasn't anything particularly good with it. It was released last year, and I just considered it kind of a really bad Wizard 101 pack. Like, I, I think especially out of all the Christmas packs, it was without a doubt one of the worst. But with the new changes released uh, yesterday or the day before, it has some new stuff in it. Now, this isn't a pack opening video because I don't have the crowns to spend, but I can actually, with this handy dandy preview feature now that they've added, see what's in the pack exactly. So I can kind of show you some of the new stuff, some of the new gear sets, and kind of dictate whether it's worth it or not. So as you can see here, they still have both of the tricycle mounts right here uh, they have the scorching tricycle and the blitzing tricycle decently cool mounts not my favorite but it reminds me of like those green bikes you ride as a kid with how um i forget what they're called like green monster something like that uh, i don't know whatever i digress they also have the merry present which is a life pet doesn't look particularly interesting has a life dispel as a side spell but it is a cool looking pet. And then finally, we get into the new stuff. This was added just uh, with the new update. So a cool new looking gear set, a new wand, and the mount. So let's start with the new gear set. So first off, the new gear set is a tuxedo looking outfit. And I gotta say, it does look really, really cool. I really love the uh, look of the tuxedo. And if I had the money to spend, I would probably at least try to go for some of it to actually get uh, get it for a stitch. I think it looks really good, and it's just a clean looking stitch, I gotta say. Especially the robe looks really, really sick. Not gonna lie, looks pretty cool. What are the stats on the gear set? Is it worth it stat-wise? I would say not really. So you can see here the hat, if you compare it to the Dragoon gear, it would give less than the Storm Dragoon hat, I believe. I think the Storm Dragoon hat gives more damage than the Fire one. Could be wrong, it could be like two less. Either way, it's still much more worth it to use the Dragoon set. This is an option, but overall, the set bonus from the Dragoon gear probably still takes it over. This robe, no reason to use it if you are a Myth or a Storm. It doesn't give any of the stats that are important for those classes, like accuracy or damage. But it does give, you know, some decent resist. I would say that judging based on this, I would say for the other schools, because I think that there are different versions of the tuxedo for different schools. I imagine there are. The robe isn't going to be worth it for any school. Realistically, none of it looks that good. Like the Malastair robe still looks overall much better. Um, the boots, I would say, actually do look pretty good in regards to the Dragoon gear. I would say though that they are missing that resist stat and now more than ever resist is pretty pretty important. So I would say ultimately, if you're going for the gear set for the stats, uh, you really shouldn't be. It's it's not worth it stat wise. In regard to the wand, the new noisemaker wand has a pretty cool looking thing. Not my favorite, but it obviously is one of the noisemakers that like rings when you shake it. Pretty cool. I would say it has decent damage. It looks like um, and decent pierce, but it doesn't really have any crit. I would say that probably the Caramel wands are still better, and then the fossil wands from the Primeval pack are better than it as well in regard to Fire or Storm or any of those other schools. Obviously, if you don't have the crowns, Caramel's still the best, but uh, this is not an upgrade compared to the fossil stuff from the Primeval Horde pack. Finally, we come to the new focus, which is the new mount, and I gotta say, I actually really like this mount, and I kinda wish I had it. I like how you, like, roll around on it, it has a cool animation, and I really like the look of it. It reminds me, I don't know how many of you have played Skyrim, I know I make so many Skyrim references, I am sorry, but it reminds me of the thing that hangs up in Blackreach that you can Fusro Da and summon a dragon from. 
Basically, it's just this cool looking mount it reminds me a lot of that and I would like to have it but Ultimately that is the new items. So now that that's out of the way are these new items worth it? Does it make this pack better? I would say ultimately the Yuletide Mornings pack is still probably a mid to bottom tier pack. I would say that the new tuxedo outfit definitely makes me a lot more interested in it for the stitch. The mount looks cool as well, but there's no real reason to get it. The mount doesn't give any stats that are important. The gear doesn't actually have any good stats or stat bonuses. So realistically, there isn't any reason to get it. I would still say this is one of the worst of the Christmas packs. It would probably still be bottom two, bottom three. I might put it above uh, the other ones I put in bottom tier though. I forget exactly what they were, but like it's not awful. It's just not good. So ultimately, there is that, and that's what I have to say in regard to these new updates. Now, let's come up to the final little section of this video that I want to add, and that is the fact that as of right now, until the end of December 13th, which is tomorrow, so make sure to do this, there is a code, and it's pretty important that you might want to check, uh, titled Mysterious Code. I'll put it in the description, but it's really easy to find. It's just Mysterious Code in all caps. Your cart can get anywhere from... 10% to 50% off for a one-time purchase, and this is, again, up until the end of December 13th. I would say now is a really important time to at least check this, because if you're going to get something from Wiz, now's the time. Obviously, 10% isn't a lot. 10%, realistically, you're probably not even going to want to, like, care that much. Uh, you can get, like, $10 worth of crowns if you want, or if you want to go for one of the bigger purchases, you can, but if you get the fi coveted 50% off, now is your chance to buy something. Like, if you think about it, right, all these bundles uh, that you can buy, you can buy for only $20. The massive $100, 80,000 crowns purchase, you can buy for 50 if you get that, which is really, really good. That's like a lot of value for your crowns. That's like almost, that's almost like 1700 per dollar worth of crowns. Really, really good if you get that 50 so at the very least go check it and you know see if what you can buy with it and on a side note uh comment in the comments what did you get in your uh in your percent off code i am really curious um i got 10 percent off for both of my wizards which is a little bit tragic i'm not gonna buy anything anyway i probably wasn't going to buy anything anyway unless i had that 50 percent off if you even get like 40 or 30 percent off still might be worth it for you to buy something the, the last thing i would do to, i'd like to wrap up this video with is kind of quickly talk about one thing that I would like to mention, and that's the fact that I think King's Isle is going the wrong way. Now, this is going to be just a quick little discussion on this, and I just am curious to what your th thoughts are in the comments, but I really don't think updating these packs and giving them more items, and especially useless new items, is really the way to go. I think the stitch is good, I will admit that, but I don't think it's really worth farming for it unless you want this stitch. Like, you're not going to be farming for this for the stats, right? Because the stats are kind of garbage. Really, you're only doing this for stitch, and I don't think that that's the way to go personally. I kind of wish that they would make more clothing bundles over here that were stitch-wise, because there's some cool-looking clothing bundles, and I think that they could really do for some more uh, that you can just buy with a flat crowns instead of gambling on it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, but that's my view on it. I personally don't like how they're updating these packs, but I am curious to what you think. So let me know in the comments below. Again, let me know what your discount code was, but that's really all I have to say for today. Yuletide Mornings Pack, new update, kind of meh. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, hit the sub button, go support me financially on Patreon if you wish and go join my discord server we're at 400 members we're a really cool community it's just vibe and time in my discord server so if you want go join that but thank you all for watching i will see you in the next video adios